so what's going to happen from here, Farmer? Like what we're going to do is we're going to do sort of a meditation guided journey through uh, traditional Maori instruments, storytelling through Kudaku and sand art, so it's a uh, a multi-sensory uh, experience and as we tell the story you might want to just close your eyes and listen to the tonga puru or listen to the purako. We are going to turn the lights off and so we're going to dim it down so and if you feel that you need to go outside after this and you just need to have a break you can most welcome to step outside catch a breath and come back in and um, if you do just if you can move quietly. Ka koi? Ka koi. So we'll turn the lights down.
Ko te nei te pau, te pau toko manoa, te pau o te nei whare, te pau o e nei kōrero. Whai a te iti kahurangi o te waka o tūruki hau o rae, whāno, whāno, haere mai te tuki, hau mie, huie, āre kie. Ranginui, the great sky father, and Papa Tuanuku, our earth mother, joined, embraced each, and held each other tightly. Their union and the birth of their children cemented them as parents, our sky father and our earth mother. And in that moment, all of these children existed and lived within this space. As their love grew, the space between them began to shrink. An atu, in our culture by the name of Pan, stood and separated our parents, Rangi Nui and Papa Tūnuku, and split the heavens and the earth from each other. And in this separation brought forth this beautiful world that we live in, Pāwhiri Mātia, the atu of wind, Tangaroa, the atu of ocean, and in there, came all our existence, our world, be it between our Sky Father Ranginui and our Sky Mother Papa Tuanuku. From there we separate into a Whakatauki, Tuia ki te rangi, Tuia ki te whenua, Tuia ki te moana. Tuia ki te rangi connecting the heavens above, our sun, our moon, our stars, the winds and the clouds. Tuya ki te whenua, all the creations and the movement that connects us to Papa Tuanuku, the trees, the animals, the plants, and us as people. Tuya ki te moana, our oceans, that joins our nations together, the fish, the whales, and everything that exists in this world. The tohu for Tuya Kitarangi when I visited here in 2019, an elder by the name of Woody, introduced me to a bird called the Pacific Plover, the Kuriri, in our language. The Pacific Plover, or the Kuriri, has left the shores of Canada and flow into Aotearoa. And when I returned home to Aotearoa when searching for this mana, this bird, and found it on the shores, of Pukuruku, which is a bird sanctuary where they migrate to every spring and leave here. So Tuya Kite Fino is our connection, is to our manu, the, uh, the kūriri, and is significant to us to join our two nations together at this time as it has just arrived in Aotearoa and left the shores of Canada. From Rangi Nui and Papa Tūnuku comes, a, comes Tāne. And Tāne wanted to create his own, Tāne's own line and own human being. There he went to Papa Tūnuku and formed from the clays of Kuruwaka, the red clay, and formed the first wahine, the first woman, Hene Ahuone. Hene Ahuone, the woman filmed, filmed, uh, created from the, the clay and from the earth of Papa Tuanuku. Tani then created the stars, helped in the creation of the stars, and one of the stars that were created was Hene Rauamo. From Hene Rauamo and from Tani came Hina to Iwayu, the great Atua where we get the name Hina, the Māori word for the moon. We then had the creation of the moon of Hina Marama. Hina Marama then formed the relationship with the ocean called Tangaroa. And Hina, Hina, the moon, then became the controller of tides and the ebbs and flows of the ocean. So you get to Dangi as our ancestors look to the stars the moon and moved in synchronicity with 
these creations that had been created for a time here in our two. He went to Iwi when Tangaro had two granddaughters. Their names were called Hene Rau Mati and Hene Takarua. From their union of Hene Rau Mati and Hene Takarua, Hene Rau Mati meaning the summer, uh, summer maiden and the summer wife of the sun, Tama Nui Tera. Hene Takarua meaning the winter maiden or the winter wife of Tama Nui, of the great sun. And Tama Nui Tera moves between these two houses of Hene Raumati and Hene Takuru, creating our winter and our summer. Tama Nui Tera transitions through this times every year. At this time of the year is sitting in Tama the sun is sitting in its own in his own whare, waiting to begin this journey for us in the southern hemisphere towards Hene Raumati, the house the summer house, and here in the north, northern hemisphere, Tamanui Tara is travelling into the house of Hene Takuru, thus combining and joining our two nations together and our indigenous people. Our tiko no will look to these times, Tamanui Tara providing the days and the seasons. Hina te iwa iwa, our great atu of the moon, is also the atua of childbirth and hina te iwa iwa birth and the controller of the monthly cycles of our wahine the monthly cycles of the moon and also the tides and the flowing of the tai tunu and the tai pare, the incoming tide and the outgoing tide when we follow our whakapapa our whakamana te te wahine hei ora ai te whana that our health and our well-being and our whakatauki for tūruki means to elevate our wahine and there we will find the health of our families. As our wahine are elevated and we protect them, our families will flourish. When we follow our whakapapa back to our mothers, all the way back to hene, to iwa iwa, back to hene ahuone, back to papa tūnuku, our heartbeat and our well-being resides in the land of our of Papa Tuanuku. a little further, and we 
and plant the seeds that our ancestors wanted us to do. Plant the seeds of our identity in Papa Tūnuku, that she is the greater healer of all of us. Papa Tūnuku, our Earth Mother, holds all of our healing qualities in her. We must start at one of our, at Tūnuku, we are starting our Pepe, our Pepe Mama program. And there we start right at the beginning, ready to connect them back to their mother, uh, their identity, and I'm remind them of who they are. We start from conception from the beginning of time and take them all the way back to our mother, our earth that we live in, Papa Tuanuku. As we elevate the manna of our wahine and remind them of who they are, our whānau will flourish. Ka whakamana tia, a papa tūnuku, hei orai te iwi. As we elevate our, our papa tūnuku to the forefront of our house and who we are as people, we as a nation of indigenous people and as a nation of people will flourish. Our heart, our heart resides in the taiao, oranga taiao, oranga tangata. The health of, our, of ourselves can only be healed as we heal Papa Tūnuku. The Maramataka is about living in sync, using our traditional calendars, living in sync with the taiao, listening to the taiao, and moving with it. And so when we look at through health, the tile holds all of our answers and moving in with her. Our traditional calendars move with the tile. There's days that we connect to Tāpuri, the actual wind. There's days that we connect to Tanga or the ocean and water. And, may, and our tile is constantly listening to us. Are we listening to the tile? Mōrere, ka āwhakamana te te wahi, hei ora ai te whāna. Ka āwhakamana te a papa tūnuku, hei ora ai te iwi. Ko tēnei te pau, te pau tuku mano, te pau o tēnei kōrero, te pau o ēnei kōrero. Whai a te iti kahurangi o te wako o tūruki hau ora e. Whānau, whānau, haere mai te mauri, hau mihe, hui e, tāne e. Ah, you're welcome. Ah, you're welcome. 